Well, welcome back. It's another good day here on WTOL 11. Why? Because we're about to dig. Mm -hmm. You'll most likely see this food and this business owner out on a food truck. But there's much more than just a mobile business. Yes, Chef K of Island Soul mm -hmm. brings us the warm, sunny flavors <laughs> of the Caribbean. It's usually a dreary time of year. So we yes. really need this little pick-me-up today. <laughs> uh, and we had you here a couple months ago, a few months ago. We yes. were outside on the food truck. We so welcome back. Work. Thank you, Words. Warm. It's a little warmer here, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, thank you for having me here today. Like I said, I'm Chef K with mm -hmm. Island Soul. And it's cold outside. This tropical gal cannot be on the food truck on the outside. So this time of year, like I've been in Ohio for seven years, mm -hmm. and every winter mm -hmm. I crave more some comfort from home. Okay. Right? Again, born in Montserrat, grew up in Antigua, different mm -hmm. parts of the Caribbean. So there's many different facets of my Caribbean heritage. And one of my favorite, almost all-time favorite dishes is salt fish and bake. So okay. Salt mm. fish and bake. Salt fish and bake. Okay. Um, Many of my clients and customers have had the bake, which is the Johnny Cake. It's okay. a West Indian deep fried dumpling. Okay. And salt fish is actually preserved fish. Okay. So using the salt, the salted method, you know, just pack a bunch of salt on top of your uh, uh -huh. your fish so it draws out the moisture. And it's hard to get that here, but no you can. <laughs> but you can go to like your local Asian grocery store and you can find it in the okay. freezer section. So I got this one. It is pollock. Okay. And so typically I go for the cod or the snapper. Okay. Okay. Today, we're going to whip up some saltfish real quick. Like I said, I already had the bake. Okay. Um, we're going to use aromatics such as onions. onions. We got hey. um, tricolor of pepper, so mm -hmm. green, yellow. Ugh. Bell pepper. Bell pepper's <laughs> yeah. got to have it. Yeah. And you can add as much or as little as finger. you would like. Yeah. And tomato, how much in tomatoes? You go and throw it all in there, because I'm pretty sure everybody's trying to eat today, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Throw it all in. Yeah, okay. throw it all, all in. Right. And I got some chopped up garlic. Garlic. Mm. Now, this is a secret spice blend. See, there's no secret. label. It's a secret. It's a secret. It is secret. my soul spice. So you're not going to tell us anything. <laughs> no, because you're, if I do that, then you're going to have to start you're working. Coming yeah. on, you're coming on television yeah. with yeah. a secret spice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. You, you got to. So you just want all these aromatics to cook down. Okay. Um, prior to cooking it in the saute form, um, you want to like soak your saltfish overnight just to pull out all that excess salt. And then you want to boil it just again pull out all the salt because, you know, we don't want hypertension. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and then, so I soak this for about an hour, okay. and then I boil it on high heat for mm -hmm. another hour, and then I drain that, I tested it, and some places preserve it longer, mm -hmm. so it might be saltier than others. Okay. So you just, once you boil it, and you taste, you drain it, and you taste it, mm -hmm. if you want less salt, you go again with some cold water, bring it up to a boil, and you repeat that cycle mm -hmm. until it's at your desired salt Saltiness. Okay. level. So, yeah. okay. so did mom or grandma, like, what, what was the, the inspiration <laughs> behind, because I feel so much passion yes. here yes. with you talking about this dish. So who gave you all of that? Funny, funny story. Growing up, I hated cooking. I hated the kitchen. I could, You could not get me to go in because it was always a chore and what kid oh, likes to sure. do chores, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I watched my grandma cook for myself, my cousins, her mm -hmm. kids. I, uh, my mom had a catering business when I was growing up. So cooking and being in love with this business is not far from my, my, my upbringing, it right. was right there. So I've seen it, I just hate it, the cooking <laughs> thing. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable stock, just you know, give it a little bit of sauciness to it. It's okay. very simple, mm. it's quick, it it's good. easy. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna put the habanero pepper in there just because my spice blend already has, like I've dried she told my you a own. little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You got one ingredient. One ingredient. You got a little bit. <laughs> so I've um, actually dried my own habaneros and I have, ground it up and made okay. my own, you know, cayenne, okay. pep, hot pepper. Okay. Okay. I do that quite, quite a bit. All right, so because we've already cooked the saltfish mm -hmm. down and we don't want our vegetables to be too mushy, this right here is actually finished. Okay. So oh, wow. somebody okay. wants to take a taste. But look, this is the Go. professional <laughs> right here. Amanda nails it. Okay, so I see avocado here. So what's Ooh. the avocado about? So in the Caribbean culture, everything is big, bold Good. flavors and yes. spices. Mm -hmm. And so 
but we want something to it's delicious you know counterbalance that and ease it up mm. because of the bold flavors in the salt fish the avocado is just that like a something to soothe your palate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you have jerk chicken, oxtail, mm -hmm. anything that's big and bold, mm -hmm. in a Caribbean West Indian home, you get in a side of avocado, you get some like fresh cucumbers and tomatoes, something to help balance out all that bold flavors. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we need our fiber today, no? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> we might as well go and throw that in there. Mm. So that's what really do you good, think? What do you think? Yeah. All right. Delicious. So we're so gonna tur good. turn that off mm -hmm. and let's get plating up. So there you go, guys. I'll take that. So I got so, me. So so, so that's called a, a bake. Fry bake. Fry yes. bake. So explain that for folks who don't understand. <laughs> <that. laughs> okay, so very easy um, flour-based dumpling. Um, it's flour, salt. You put a little bit of fat in there. Could be oil, could be butter, could be ghee. And you knead it and you let it rest so the gluten can be like, all right, so you're finished with me. <laughs> so as simple as the ingredients are, that there's a technique for it to puff. So when you put it in your fryer, I do a thing where, you know, I roll it out, I take the dough, I go one, two, three, let it sink, mm -hmm. and the minute it floats, I'm taking my spoon and I'm literally bathing the top of mm -hmm. the bake with that oil. Well. So it's like, the heat's at the bottom and it puffs at the top. It's so an it, art to this. It's an yes, art it's to it. her secret way now. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, because when you see the now hiring, I'm coming for the entire crew, uh -huh. all right? Yeah, I might need that secret recipe for this. <laughs> need a secret recipe for this. I'm gonna put this here. I've okay, we'll take a shot of that over there. Avocado already open. So food, uh, mm. because you, you've named like three different islands. <laughs> I mean, yeah. maybe, I, maybe I missed one. So uh, uh, these Caribbean uh, countries, Beautiful. these islands, uh, are we seeing some of the same uh, foods that people are, uh, are eating there? Or yes. does it change from island to island? So because... Here, you can have the avocado spoon. <laughs> <laughs> so because I've moved around um, so much, I wanted to bring a combination of everything. Mm -hmm. So one of my signature dishes is the not Jamaican jerk chicken. Uh -huh. And countless customers are like, what makes it not Jamaican? It I'm not from <laughs> Jamaica. Yeah. So, so I cannot give the authentic thing. Like there are many different Caribbean islands and natives that live here yeah. in Toledo. And I want to be able to teach those who are not familiar mm -hmm. with the different islands that Hey, one, um, Jamaica is popular, but it's not the only one. Mm -hmm. We have smaller islands like Montserrat, where I was born. You literally have to zoom in on the camp, <laughs> on it. the map, in order to find that. Mm -hmm. um, like Antigua, like sawfish is a thing in Antigua, but fungi is well, also well, another well, thing well, that right. goes with it. So it's Get a combination. So, so Matt is the guest on the show today, oh, yeah, so I want to make Matt. sure he gets it. I've mm -hmm. been able, my wife and I, to travel to Guyana, so yep. we know about roti, we know about a cook-up, you know, oh, things like God, that. Oh, yes. yeah. So so yes. I know exactly <laughs> what I'm getting into there. So yes, okay. Matt. <laughs> All right, you're, I think you're you like welcome. That. I like I just, the face. I just had Thanksgiving last week from my mom, and uh -huh. oh, this is what reminds me so much of my mom's food. Uh, yes. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I love it, the comfort, and that's what I want people mm -hmm. to feel when they have my food. Mm -hmm. It's not just stepping into another culture, but it's that comfort. I grew up on that. Like, I can sit down with a cup of lemongrass tea uh -oh. with a little bit of milk, uh -oh. and I can eat that entire plate, <laughs> and then be like, okay, so what are we doing now? <laughs> Time to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, right. So I just want to bring my culture to Toledo and to everybody else so that they don't have to hop on a plane. They don't mm -hmm. have to go on a cruise. They can at least say, okay, what is a catering, a private event, the sure. food truck? Can we get a little bit of that island mm -hmm. flair? I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, you definitely can. And this is one that I can definitely bring. Wonderful. Yeah. So <laughs> people can get in touch with you. Hey, hire you for one of those uh, they events. They definitely you, can. Coming on here for yeah, the so, course of the holiday season. Even. Yeah, it is the holiday season, mm -hmm. and everybody has a party going mm -hmm. on. Or even if you don't want to cook a big old Ugh, meal, yeah. like <laughs> what is yeah. the mac and cheese, the greens, you want a big old um, pan of salt fish. Mm -hmm. and like, I definitely bring that. You know, email me, call me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever it is and however I can bring my culture to individuals, I will do it. Wonderful. Well, thank yeah. you for bringing it for oh, us this my morning. Pleasure. Really that was it. delicious. <laughs> taking it was so taking it home. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking it with him. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chef, for coming in this morning. It's we my appreciate pleasure. it. We've got more good day coming up after the break.